Hello, my sweet strangerlings. I have so many work projects going on this summer that I found myself spending a lot of time commuting. So whenever I'm traveling from location to location, my go-to for fun is Slotomania, the world's number one free slots game. Slotomania is a unique gaming experience with really beautiful graphics, huge jackpots, and fun freebies. There are hundreds of original Vegas style and video slot machines ready to play wherever you are. Download Slotomania, the number one free slots game on the App Store or Google Play Store and get 1 million free coins. That's Slotomania on the App Store or Google Play Store for 1 million free coins. Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? The Haunting of Lizzie Borden. While it's nice to enjoy true crime stories in the comforts of your home, going out to visit the scenes of a crime is a very different experience. Be careful what you discover, as in this tale of a famous murder. Jessica was thrilled when she learned that Lizzie Borden's house had been turned into an inn specializing in haunted tours. The chance to visit the infamous property was a dream come true. The idea of Lizzie hacking her father and stepmother into pieces centuries ago thrilled Jessica. She convinced her two best friends, Rosario and Tanya, into spending the night there. Hoping to do some paranormal investigating for her birthday, Jessica packed an EMF meter and a digital recorder in the hopes of capturing Lizzie's voice, which was rumored to echo through the halls. After a long drive, the girls finally arrived at the house. They each headed to their rooms to unpack and then headed downstairs for champagne. As Jessica walked into her room, she tacked her EMF meter for any paranormal activity, but there was no activity. As she moved around the room with it, she heard a startled cry from downstairs. She raced towards the noise, hoping to discover something scary. But it was just Rosario, who had been spooked by a painting of Lizzie. Jessica rolled her eyes and suggested her friends headed back upstairs and relax while she did some exploring. She made her way outside with her equipment. Come on, Lizzie, she called. I know you're here. While Jessica explored, Rosario drew a bubble bath. Sliding into the tub, she immediately felt relaxed. As her eyes began to droop, a child's whisper echoed throughout the room. Get out. She tried to sit up, but a hand appeared out of nowhere. Pushing her head down into the water, she struggled, trying to free herself. Her eyes bulged in terror, her mind unable to process what was happening. She kicked up in the air, splashing water everywhere, hoping someone would hear her, but no one came. The last thing she saw before drowning was the silhouette of a young boy in old-fashioned clothing. Across the hall, Tanya was resting on her bed with her headphones on. She was deep in the music when she felt a sudden chill and a door slam. She looked up, but was immediately blinded as someone smothered a pillow over her face. She clawed and scratched, slashing her unknown attacker's face with her nails. But as much as she fought back, she quickly suffocated. Jessica was blissfully unaware of the tragedy upstairs, having picked up some EMF activity and followed it to the basement. The EMF device went crazy and she turned on the recorder, excitedly hoping to capture something on tape. While kneeling, her weight prop opened one of the boards and she gasped in shock. A pile of old bones had been buried under the wood. She jumped backwards and screamed at the terror in front of her. There was a ghost of a young boy in very old fashioned raggedy clothing. He spoke saying his name was Augustine. What are you doing in my house? The apparition demanded. Jessica bravely replied, I, I wanted to see Lizzie Borden. The boy sneered. This is my house. I made Lizzie kill her stupid parents. While Jessica trembled with fear, Augustine revealed his father had buried him alive under this very floorboard as punishment hundreds of years before he killed his baby sister. A chill ran down Jessica's spine as she realized that her two best friends were upstairs alone. She raced to their rooms, but of course it was too late. They were both dead. Jessica sat huddled in the corner of Tanya's bedroom, her eyes squeezed tightly shut, her hands over her ears, desperately trying to block the sound of Augustine's laughter. The police soon arrived and arrested her. After all, she was the one covered in blood. She tried to explain everything and grab the digital recorder, but when she pushed play, there were no childish voices. 
No ghostly confession, just static. She begged them to look under the floorboards in the basement, but they found nothing. No bones, not a shred of evidence to corroborate her story. None of the locals had ever heard the tale of Augustine, and only Jessica heard the giggles as she was let out in cuffs. Unlike Lizzie, Jessica was found guilty and sentenced to life behind bars. She spent the long and lonely hours wondering if Augustine was real, or had she been so obsessed with the boarding case that deep down, she just wanted to know what it felt like to kill her best friends. I know that with everything going on in the world, things can be so daunting and hard to process. We're also entering a phase where everything is streamlined and you get instant gratification, so we don't have time to process our feelings, which is why I recommend that you take some time to take care of yourself. Talkspace is easy to use and it's like having a therapist in your pocket. I'm more relaxed when I'm traveling, knowing that if I need to talk to my therapist, I can just send a message from wherever I am. Working through things in therapy can be tough, but connecting with your therapist isn't. I wholeheartedly recommend Talkspace for therapy. You can sign up online and start therapy the same day as you sign up. You can text, video, or send voice messages to your licensed therapist. So it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions from the comfort of your home. Taking the first step towards getting help can be scary, but Talkspace makes it really easy. And Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code SCARY to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's SCARY and Talkspace.com. Hello, my sweet strangerlings. I have so many work projects going on this summer that I've found myself spending a lot of time commuting. So whenever I'm traveling from location to location, my go-to for fun is Slotomania, the world's number one free slots game. There are so many unique designs like Medusa's Magic, King of the North, and Crazy Train. I'm already at level 100. There's also an interactive community and a million of free coins. It's the perfect escape from your daily routine. Slotomania is a unique gaming experience with really beautiful graphics, huge jackpots, and fun freebies. I get so excited when I win a big jackpot. There are hundreds of original Vegas style and video slot machines ready to play wherever you are. I love that it's like a Vegas vacation without the luggage. When your day is feeling stale, just ask, what will today spin? If you're 21 or older, you can join millions of players around the world. Download Slotomania, the number one free slots game on the App Store or Google Play Store and get 1 million free coins. That's Slotomania on the App Store or Google Play Store for 1 million free coins. What if Sherlock Holmes' most villainous nemesis was actually an innocent man? Well, you may not want to miss this new Audible. I promise it's really good. It's an original Moriarty, The Devil's Game. It's a bold new addition to the Sherlock Holmes universe starring Dominic Monaghan, known for Lord of the Rings trilogy Lost in the title role. Moriarty turns one of literature's most famous rivalries on its head. It pits genius against genius in an epic origin story that recasts Professor James Moriarty as a desperate fugitive framed for murder haunted by dark forces who will stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to exploit his brilliance. With Sherlock Holmes, Scotland Yard, and the British Crown closing in on him, Moriarty must confront the ultimate question. What will it take to prove his innocence? And if he succeeds, what will he become? Moriarty, the devil's game, it takes a villain to create one. Hashtag Moriarty X Audible. Visit audible.com slash listen to Moriarty and listen now. You won't want to wait. If you would like to submit a story, send me an email at something scary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, sweet dreams. <laughs>